So the microreactor that we developed is the same fundamental technology, the same physics, the same chemistry, the same materials that you see powering 300 power plants around the world, contributing to almost 10% of global electricity production. What we've done is we've repackaged it in order to be able to build most of it in a factory, be able to put it inside of modules, transport it to site, and make the construction process radically simplified. Microreactors are an exciting advanced reactor technology. Uh, they've been around for a, a couple of years. Uh, most of the companies that are developing microreactors started around 2016 to 2018. But even though they're relatively new, they're also moving quickly to the market. And so we expect to see the first microreactors operating uh, by 2024 and, and 2026. We see a couple of universities already moving forward to investigate the use of microreactors. The University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign, Purdue University, and Penn State University are all working with companies to explore the use of nuclear power, specifically microreactors. And so it's an exciting opportunity to see nuclear power uh, help to reduce carbon emissions for these universities. I think that the enthusiasm for microreactor technology is completely unjustified. These uh, reactors are going to be much less efficient uh, than large light water reactors and pose a number of safety and security risks, and will also generate much more expensive electricity. So uh, I think those who are hoping that microreactors are going to be the silver bullet for uh, solving the climate change crisis are simply uh, betting on the wrong horse.